All right, check this out. Whistleblowers at the FBI have told Senator Ron Johnson that their bosses forbade them from investigating Hunter Biden's laptop until after the 2020 election. How convenient. Well, also in the news, after Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg informed everybody that the FBI went and saw him and told him that he should tamp down discussion of Hunter Biden's laptop. Our next guest, though, isn't sitting back. He's fighting to get answers. Joining us now is the senator from Wisconsin, Ron Johnson. Senator, let me get this straight. FBI whistleblowers are coming to you to tell you that their bosses told them not to look into the Hunter Biden laptop until after the election because they didn't want it potentially uh, altering the election. Well, the exact quotes from our whistleblowers said that the uh, once the FBI took possession of the uh, kind of laptop computer in December 2019, they were offered it, I think, the summer 2019. They finally subpoenaed it in December. They were told you will not look at that under laptop computer and the FBI will, is not going to change the outcome of the election again. Now, what's interesting about that quote is uh, I think they tried to change the uh, outcome of the election in 2016. They just failed. And Donald Trump was still elected president. They absolutely did change the outcome of the election in 2020 by suppressing this information. Uh, we now know that apparently they went to Facebook and talked about Russian disinformation there as well. So, so we've asked Facebook. We've also asked the, the Attorney General and the Director of FBI to produce all the documents uh, concerning that communication between Facebook and the agency. Um, we need to get to the bottom of this. So can you give me a ballpark? How many whistleblower agents are you talking about? And have you sort of figured out who the people in charge were that were telling them, don't look into this any further? I, I missed the first part of that question. How many agents have, uh, how many people are blowing the whistle? Well, we have whistleblowers. We want to protect their anonymity. I know there are whistleblowers going to Senator Grassley's office saying that in August they began a scheme downplay the derogatory information of Hunter to basically deep six the investigation. I think people of integrity are also going to Congressman Jordan's office as well. And we encourage more whistleblowers. Listen, I think the vast majority of people serving in federal law enforcement have integrity. They want to see credibility and integrity restore their agency. So the only way that's going to happen is if people come forward, we're able to expose the truth so we can hold people accountable and uh, basically restore credibility of the agency. So you mentioned this, but the CEO of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, goes on Joe Rogan's podcast and he, he says, hey, look, the FBI came to me and told me to downplay these Hunter Biden things to make it harder for people to see that that's got to be amazing. I mean, that's literally suppression. Yes, I'm not sure they specifically referred to the Hunter Biden laptop. They talked to just about Russian disinformation, uh, very similar to the unsolicited briefing they gave us in on august 6 of 2016 where they said we were targets of russian disinformation gave us no information you know, we'd, we'd already been smeared that we had solicited and disseminated russian disinformation so this was nothing new i, I asked at the time who directed this briefing sean two years later uh, the fbi will not tell us who directed that briefing which they later leaked to the washington post to smear me so they're already impacting the 2022 election as well because there are people in Wisconsin because of that smear, because of that leaked the Washington Post, that think I'm some kind of tool of Vladimir Putin. Nothing could be further from the truth. So, Senator, here's what's weird. During the 2016 election, the Department of Homeland Security, then controlled by President Obama, asked staff members like me to come from the RNC over to their headquarters to tell us how secure the election was, how it wasn't being interfered with, and they wanted us to vouch for it. And then after Trump wins, suddenly it becomes, oh, my God, the Russians. So it's funny, before the elections, please vouch for how secure it is. After the election, Trump wins, it's, oh, my God, the Russians. I have that exact same briefing. Uh, which I think is interesting, but it's also important to note that the FBI uh, knew in October 2016 and certainly by January 2017, that the Steele dossier was tainted with Russian disinformation, but they didn't tell anyone. Uh, that information, by the way, was hidden in classified footnotes to Michael Horowitz's FISA report. Uh, that is rather suspicious there as well. Uh, so again, I have a laundry list of areas in which the uh, FBI has shown partisanship, have taken political actions. Uh, 
It's an agency that needs to be investigated. We need to expose the truth. So let me just ask you this real quick. You said the vast majority are, are good people. I, I believe that. How do we how do we root those folks out that are bad? Again, we need people that have information about the partisanship, about the political actions to come forward and reveal what is actually happening so we can hold those people accountable, get them out of the agency and you know, basically put people in there with integrity again. Okay. Senator Ron Johnson, I really appreciate you coming here and also appreciate your hard work on this because you're one of the only people that's holding people's feet to the fire. So this is why we need you reelected and to become a chairman again. So thank you. Ron Johnson for Senate.com. Need some help. Okay. You do. Well, you'll get it. All right. Thank you. By the way, this Saturday, President Trump will be holding a rally in Pennsylvania. Newsmax, as always, will.